What's going on YouTube? This is Darezebo here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a new tutorial. This time it's going to be in After Effects, and I'm going to be showing you guys just how I edit my cinematics mainly, and how to get some really nice color correction and no lights, and it's just going to look really good. And so, the first thing we need to do is just go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, and by the way, I'll put this clip in the description, and so you guys can download it if you want to practice with it. And so, and then after I add the adjustment layer, I'm just going to click on the adjustment layer and come up here to the pin tool. And I'm just going to crop right here in the sky. And I'm just going to do a really quick mask. The quicker you do it, the worse it's going to look. But um, I don't have anybody to impress right now. And so if you guys are actually, actually doing a montage or anything, you probably are going to want to make this look better. But it's fine just for this tutorial and then I'm just gonna come over here to my adjustment layer and click M on my keyboard and I'm gonna change that to subtract and so after I have that done I'm gonna go ahead and click on the adjustment layer and go to effect actually make sure you have adjustment layer highlighted and then go to effect uh, video copilot and optical flares and then you can tell that it's over the black so what you want to do is come to render mode and change that to over original and then what we need to do is come up here to our options and I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of the pro presets so I'm just gonna go ahead and use sunspot and actually we need to change this mask path so if this went away then just press M on your keyboard again and change that to add and so now we can click on our optical flares and move this up here and we can still see that it doesn't look very good it looks you can definitely tell that the mask is there and everything so what we're gonna do is come over here and change our mask opacity or our mask feather sorry about that to around 100 pixels and so now if we click out of that we can see that that actually looks really good and I'm just gonna go ahead and move this optical flare over a little bit more and so there you go there we have that our optical flare and then I'm gonna go ahead and come up here to layer new and add one more adjustment layer and then I'm gonna go to effect magic bullet looks and go to magic bullet looks and edit and as you can see I have tons of presets already downloaded from AKN, Biz Edits, um, Duncan sent me a couple, I downloaded Dubsies. But um, if you guys want a color correction pack, I if this video gets 75 likes I'll do a color correction pack for you guys. And so what this adjustment layer does is it actually makes it where the color correction is going to be over the sun and the actual cinematic and so it looks better instead of just being over the cinematic and I'm just going to go ahead and use this color correction right here and that looks really good and then I'm going to go ahead and go to layer new adjustment layer one more time and grab my mask tool and I'm just going to mask around here and just around the building right there and then what I'm gonna do is come over here to my effects and presets tab and if you don't have this just come up here and go to window and make sure your effects and presets is checked I'm just gonna drag fast blur or actually don't do that yet come over here to your adjustment layer you mask click on mask and then we're gonna drag that on top of our adjustment layer and so now if we click on our adjustment layer we can actually change the blur to about five and make sure repeat edge pixels is selected and so if we look at that now we can see that it looks pretty good and then I'm gonna come over here to my adjustment layer one more time click on mask feather and change the feather to about 100 pixels and that just smooths smooths it out and it makes it look sorry about that it makes it look a lot better and so um, that's pretty much all I have for this tutorial you guys can if you guys don't have magic bullet looks for your color corrections then you can just go to color correction and I mean you can just go to color curves or anything and mess with your 
mess with the settings, create your own custom color corrections. And like I said, if this video gets 75 likes, I'll put out a Magic Bullet Looks color correction pack for you guys with around 25 presets. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. Um, Please comment, rate, and subscribe as well. So thank you guys for watching this. I'll see you later.